with an alarming number of dead or dying raccoons being recovered here on the Central Coast. And tonight, animal control officers sending a serious warning to pet owners. Action News reporter Felix Cortez is live outside animal control in Watsonville with tonight's top story. Well, Aaron, those raccoons are dying from distemper, a virus that's easily transmittable to household pets. And tonight, a warning to pet owners, make sure your pets are vaccinated. Extremely busy. Just today, this is uh, going to be my third raccoon for today. Almost every day, Santa Cruz County Animal Control Officer Carlos Montez is responding to reports of a sick or dying raccoon. This one was called in on Freedom Boulevard in Watsonville Wednesday morning. The normally nocturnal creature motionless in the middle of the road in broad daylight. A green mucus coming from its eyes and nose. If you notice the raccoon moving very slowly, um, stop. If you go out, try to shoot it away, make noise, and it's not going anywhere, um, give us a call. That's what Gay Huft did. Another sick raccoon recovered Wednesday morning at the Watsonville mobile home park she manages, where five sick or dying raccoons have been picked up in less than a month. And then I've seen some walk through the park. I know they've got distemper because they're walking like they're drunk. Santa Cruz County Animal Control officers say they're recovering an alarming number of raccoons suffering from distemper. 220 in just the last three months alone compared to 185 over the first 10 months of 2015. Animal control officers say the problem is only going to get worse before it gets better. It's very scary. It's very scary. It's highly contagious. I've sent notices out to the residents that they make, need to make sure that their pets are vaccinated. The same warning coming from animal control officers who say distemper is easily transmitted to pets. The best defense is to make sure your pet has all its vaccinations. And it's a very painful death. I've seen these poor little critters with the mucus in the eyes and the nose running and not being able to walk very well. And I don't want to see anyone's pets die from that. Now, animal control officers say they haven't received any reports of any pets dying as a result of distemper, but that's the main reason this warning is going out tonight. Get your pets vaccinated, vaccinated, make sure they're vaccinated so we don't get any reports or large numbers of pets dying as a result of contact from these infected raccoons. Aaron? Yeah, it, bottom line here is it can be prevented. All right, thank you, Felix. Mm. Raccoons, just so you know, they're typically nocturnal animals. So if you should see a raccoon out in broad daylight, appears to be lethargic, you should immediately call animal control.